Hey friends, welcome to 30 Inks 30 Days, day 10. Here's a look at last week, the first full week. Lovely. Turn the page. And at yesterday's splat all dried. Holy cow. Hold on. We got to try and get this going. Yeah, look at that sheen. It comes through in the writing too. I just now did all the transcription using this and it was quite nice. Um, a good pairing. I think this could also do with a, a nib finer than broad, but why would you want to? Um, <laughs> So, I do have my tea. Let us start the process of picking a color. First, let me have a sip of tea. Okay. What you guys can't see is that my eyes are closed when I do this. So, um, it may just look like, like, I don't know. I don't know what it looks like to you is what I'm saying. Let's see, is that one card? That's the card. Let me set these down. And, oh. How exciting. <laughs> Maria, how do you feel about this thing? Do we have for our selection today? Octopus Fluids Sepia Schwarz. Hey, this is like the first one I touched. Good job, Maria. You win. What do I win? Sepia Schwartz. What do I get if I lose? Okay, let us find a pen for this. <clears throat> It may surprise none of you. If you've seen any of my videos, I don't have a pin that matches this color. <laughs> um, what are we gonna do to combat a case of the Mondays with a brown ink? I think actually, I'm gonna come to regret this. But that's okay, I actually have other options. For green, we'll do my vintage pen. Cause like brown and green are friends. That's kind of why I don't like either of them a whole lot. But that looks good there, right? This pen, ooh, do I want to? Hmm. Yeah, it'll be fine. I typically just like unink it immediately. But if this can't fill from here, we're going to have words. Let's try. It's a lever fill. A lever fill. Oh no, where'd my ink rag go? Hold on, I found it. So we're gonna hope it has ink in it. Let's see. Zoom in for you. I 
I just this is my vintage um this is my wall the wall ever sharp let's just write that I think it's a Doric question mark this pen Beautiful flex. Ugh. That's poopy. So there's at least ink in the feed. If I was able to write that much. That's something. water yeah that little bit of water was for you Amanda if you see this Now it's possible that I know the last ink I had in this was Ult. Goldkrun. Hey, that's funny. The last ink I had in it was German and this one is German. The Rohr und Klingne. Alt Goldkrun. And this one is obviously not that, but it could be. I mean, I, I clean it very thoroughly, but within the bounds of what's possible with a vintage pin. Possible and advisable. So, let's come over here. 30 inks. 30 days. April 2023. Day 10. Sometimes you just gotta put in like extra flourishy, you know, so that you can really see. You're being weird. Octopus, Liz, Sepia, Schwartz. Pin, vintage. I wrote wall and then I start to doubt my existence. Wall. Flex. Like, is that true? Just lovely. It's a good pen for practicing like handwriting because it doesn't like upstrokes very much. So it can make sure that you're using as little pressure as possible. And if you want to like You know, I didn't cap this. Were you all nervous? You probably couldn't see that it wasn't capped. Don't be nervous. If you ever miss me moving my tea before 
for splatting. You can be nervous about that, I'll, let it, I'll allow it. There's something that looks kind of like a piece of wood at the bottom of my teacup. Probably normal. Look at that. Like one boo right in the middle. Did you ever like as a kid? I almost broke my I almost broke it. Get to like play with paint and like blow it with straws. That's what this reminds me of. If you didn't, just another reason why my mom is awesome. She also would have us finger paint with chocolate pudding, which was delicious. And I still love chocolate pudding. I haven't had it in forever. Oh my gosh, I should make my mom chocolate pudding. I think that'd be great. I don't see anything in this splat. I might need some distance from it. So, fun. Today's ink would not be one I would reach for on my own, which is why I like these random draws because some of them are like real misses and I, what I learn is that, yep, I don't like this ink, but sometimes I find stuff that it's like, wow, actually I totally dig this. Um, I don't think this is going to be one of them because I just don't love brown, but We'll see how I like this brown, you know. Um, I, I did buy Cacao do Brazil because that's a cool brown and I think that's probably more my jam. Um, but maybe this will be like black enough. You know, the Schwarz part. At any rate, here we are with our day 10 celebration. Uh, what do you think of brown inks? Are they like your besties or what? This one does have really nice shading. I suspect if you like brown and you like inks that are legible but good shading, this might be a, a good choice for you. But we'll see after I do my writing with it because it's too early to say that now. Thanks for hanging out with me today. I hope whenever you're watching this, you're having a wonderful day. Take care of yourselves. And I'll see you tomorrow with day 11. Bye.